Mm. And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me, where today, as part of my ongoing series about Serial Experiments Lane, I'm talking about the presentation of the story in Lane. Now, its writer, Chiaki J. Kanaka, has stated that Lane is presented as a horror series. Now, this is interesting. You could see the show as a traditional horror story with Eri as the psycho killer. Instead of attacking people with a traditional weapon, he uses the internet as his weapon to either seduce people into committing suicide, or he uses the knights to attack people directly. And in that model, the climax of the show involves Lane, the heroine, confronting Eri at the end and destroying him. And I think this may be why so many viewers are so confused by Layer 13, which is a whole episode set after the big climax and confrontation with the killer. That's because Eri is not the killer. People are deluding themselves into believing that the real world isn't important. Eri is certainly part of that, but there are other forces at work as well. Like any good horror series, or mystery series for that matter, much of the plot involves laying groundwork and establishing parameters. So, for example, what can the wire do and what can't it do? How do Lane's relationships map exactly? What can Lane do? And then, of course, what are the effects of what she can or cannot do? The real horror of the series is psychological and emotional. It lies in people mistreating each other and in Lane's isolation combined with her power to completely screw over other people's lives. This is demonstrated in Layer 12, when Alice completely negates the series' supposed theme by focusing Lane back on physical human connection and human relationships and the importance of having deep, face-to-face -face human relationships. This is not a horror show. This is a show about psychology that's presented as horror.